Well, let's go across to my special panel now. Let's begin with Olympic gold medalist Abhinav Bindra. Abhinav, the words used yesterday by the Hockey India Federation officials, play for the nation, not for money. As somebody who's brought home a goal for India, what was your reaction to that? Well, it's obviously it's pretty clear that uh, all sports persons, all Olympic sports persons in this country play for, play for the honor of the country and that's just about it. We pursue our passion but it's also um, when we give our life to it, I can relate to, to their problems and uh, whoever is asking such questions, just I would like to ask a question to them. If they were to um, just pursue their passion mm -hmm. for about 10 years of their life, free of cost, would they be ready to, ready to do that? And if these players are asking for um, th their dues, I don't see anything uh, wrong in that. Right, and why is it, I mean, I think you really hit the nail on the head. Why should sports people be put on the mat and not the officials? Uh, let me actually uh, ask that same question uh, to Saina and Baichung. Again, uh, Saina, the fact uh, that you play badminton, I mean, it doesn't compare to, say, a money-spinning sport like cricket. What is the kind of battle you face? What is the kind of, when you hear this, uh, what was said about the hockey players, do you identify with it and do you feel as outraged as they did? Uh, it's a little bit sad to know about all this because uh, I think uh, all the sports grow, go through this. Even, uh, you know, I had a problem with it uh, last year. But um, it just, I think it just uh, keeps happening in India, you know. Everything uh, happens later, a little bit later. And, uh, but that, that, that should not be the case, you know. Should, a player should really uh, think about uh, more, uh, more playing, you know, and just focusing on the training rather than... Uh, you know uh, that I was not paid the uh, mm -hmm. paid the money on time and all that because it happens really late in India. You know, it's uh, because it's keep keep it keeps on hap uh, happening from almost like ten to twelve years because I have gone through this and uh, right. even uh, I had the same problem. But uh, that doesn't mean I'll stop my training for the World Championship and uh, you know I, and I won't play the tournament because my work is to play and win and I'm sure I'll get my money back because mm -hmm. um, you know I think uh, there are so many supporters out here who will really support me and mm -hmm. I will surely get my dues you know it's not that I'll just stop training and you know and I'll ask everyone just uh, you know give me my money and then only I'll start training but it right. is really uh, I think uh, it was really sad that last year hockey players did really well and uh, it took so much of time uh, for the government to give their money and uh, at last it is our job you know yes, it's like it was... job for us we play and it was really we a virtual play and uh, you know yes I, yeah. I think it was really a, the fact that it was a virtual revolt by the entire hockey team which is what uh, led to the sports officials actually giving in and uh, let me bring you in there Bai Chung on that I think uh, uh, the difference is Saina and Abhinav is that they both play individual sports so they, ha uh, they focus on it they focus on the fact that their success will bring them a return even if not now for a team it's slightly different because you know you have to stand united we saw that even team B in hockey said they will not play if their seniors don't get the money do you think the unity displayed by players is what made the federation compromise? See, I think it's very sad to know that it's come to this uh, point where players have to beg for their own money. Uh, you know, uh, just a second back, you were saying, you know, play for the nation and not for the money. And that's the reason why I think Indian sport, sport is where it is right now. And if, if you still go on saying play for the nation, not for the money, I think the sports person will just decrease. The number of sports person in any sports is going to decrease. It's just like the army, you know, die for your country and what do they get in return? The salaries are bad and that's the reason why I think we're having, you know, problems in, uh, in army as well. We've got exactly. less people joining the army. Right. So I think it's important that you've got to play for your nation. But finance is very, very important for a player. And it's very sad to know that the Hockey Federation being there for a very long time and have not been able to revive hockey for last last decade or so. And it's sad that when they say that they don't have money right now, whose, whose mistake is that? It's not mm -hmm. the mistake of the players. It's the mistake of the officials who've been running Hockey Federation for years and years. Why can't they do something about the game and try and bring in money? And if they can't do that, just resign. Just resign if you can't bring in money and you can't lift the game. Just resign. Let somebody else try.